today we're reading with Mama and Smile on the dinner with monkeys at with their mitts. Hi everyone, today we are reading The Hat Seller and the Monkeys, written by Baba Wague Diakite. Ba Musa, the hat seller, was a joyful man. He traveled from town to town selling hats, which he piled high on his head. Himanu ninkoi kadisa, he sang, which means what a wonderful business hat selling is. Ever since he was a little boy, Ba Musa made and sold hats. His grandparents and his own parents were hat makers, and they taught him to do this at a young age. After each harvest, the whole family would venture out to the fields to collect rice stalks, from which they made wide-brimmed dibiri hats to sell. During the rainy season, they embroidered close-fitting fugulan caps with intricate patterns of brightly colored threads. Through his joyful spirit and hard work, Ba Musa had become very well known in his neighboring towns. Wherever he arrived, with his hats piled high on his head, children would follow him and sing along as he sang his favorite song. Himanun nin kui karisa, himanun nin kui karisa, himanun nin kui karisa. This is the story of how Ba Musa learned an important secret for success. One day, Ba Musa heard that a great festival was to take place in a neighboring town. There he could sell more hats than he'd ever sold before. He spent many days making hats for his event. To get to the festival by evening, he began his journey in the early morning. But he was in such a hurry, he did not eat any breakfast. Halfway to town, Ba Musa grew so tired and hungry, he had to stop and rest under a shady mango tree. He unloaded the hats from the top of his head and put them on the ground next to him. Then he covered his face with one of the blind shade, with one, with one as a blind shade to keep the sun from his eyes. Bamusa soon fell asleep and began to snore loudly. Kuru tutu tutu, kuru tutu tutu. Little did Bamusa know that the fruit from this tree attracted monkeys. Bamusa's snoring alerted them to his company. As usual, the monkeys were very curious and smart, and they crept down from the tree. Yoli, 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 quietly, 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 and sneaked around Ba Musa. Being attracted to the colorful hats, each monkey selected one. Then they climbed back up the tree and imitated Ba Musa, covering their faces and snoring. Kiri, titi, titi, kiri, titi, titi. Soon Ba Musa awoke from his sleep, rested but hungry. Eager to continue his journey, he looked for his hats. But where were they? Had they been stolen? Frant frantically, Bamusa called for help. Himanun! Himanun! he cried. When the monkeys heard this, they answered, <laughs> Bamusa looked up and realized what had happened, but was so hungry he could not think clearly what to do. He raised his arms in the air. Cha, cha, cha! he yelled. The monkeys stared down at him and replied, shaking their arms wildly. Ba Musa threw a dead branch at them, hoping to scare them off, but the monkeys merely threw leaves at him in return. Then Ba Musa picked up a stone and threw it up into the tree. The monkeys picked up mangoes and threw them down at Ba Musa. By this time, Ba Musa was faint with hunger, and so he collected the fruit and sat down to eat. He ate until his stomach was full. Now Ba Musa could think clearly. Now he knew what he must do. He removed the only hat he had left from his head and shook it up in the air at the monkeys, shouting, Himanun! Himanun! All the monkeys did the same, grabbing the hats off their heads, howling, Hoo! 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 Ba Musa dropped his hat to the to the uh, dropped his hat tot to the ground, and all the monkeys dropped their hats. Tot 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 tot. 
Without losing a second, Bamusa collected all his hats, stacked them back on top of his head, and rushed to his destination. He arrived not a moment too soon. So great was Bamusa's happiness from his recent luck that his spirit of goodwill helped sell all of his hats, and so it was that Bamusa learned from the monkeys. It is with a full stomach that one thinks best. best. For an empty satchel cannot stand.